Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are going to be throwing the drift suspension on a Cadillac XTS limousine. Now this one is already rear wheel drive swapped and it already makes about 860 horsepower and we're going to, like I said, throw the drift suspension on it and see what it can do. And it's probably going to end up being just pure comedy and just pure like craziness, but drift suspension is on. And brakes wise, you, I don't know why this thing doesn't have race brakes. There's a lot of pieces this thing doesn't have. I don't know why it doesn't have them. I need to go through and like check this thing out because I haven't like I haven't touched this car in a long time. So it's got race weight reduction, which is good. But does it have a built drivetrain? Okay, it should have one. It does. It does. Oh, why no race drive shaft? That's just weird. It's got a race diff though. All right, uh, wheels and tires. What tires is it running? Let's go for a... We'll leave it on street tires. And front width is going to go up to a 285. And then rear width is going to go up to a 285 as well. The wheels I like. The wheels I like, so we're going to leave them alone. Um, let's see. Don't need that and definitely don't need that. Let's see. What, do we, what else are we dealing with here um right now it's got a positive displacement supercharger i'm thinking about switching it over to twin turbos just for the sheer fact that i want something to like i want to change something on the car let's see mm. oh god oh that would be amazing 5.2 v8 or 5 oh god the mm, the racing engine just, dude, for that, like, super linear power band, yeah, we need to do that. No restrictor plates, so 994 horsepower, almost 1,000 naturally aspirated horsepower. 1,000 naturally aspirated horsepower being pumped through the rear wheels of a Cadillac limousine. Because why, why, why would you not... All right, 456 gears. Oh, geez. Uh, let's go down to a 410, because I feel like 456 is just going to blow every gear off. Uh, let's see. A little bit of toe out. Soften the front sway bar. And let's see. Drop it all the way down. Hmm. You might want it a little front bias on the brakes. Back that down to 75. Before I take this thing out, it is getting test driven because I am not, uh, I, I am, this, this is one thing that I'm not, I'm not going to just take straight to the, like, straight to the circuit. This thing needs some actual testing. Open space, test drive, and accept. All right, let's go. Now, what I'm mainly looking for is its ability to hold angle and whether or not it's, like, super twitchy at the limit. Now, if it's super twitchy at the limit, we're going to have to make some adjustments. But if it, hold, if it holds angle well, then I'll be willing to take it right to the track. Honestly, I'll be willing to just like, boom, take it right to the track. The, on, the, the big concern, though, is, of course, the size. R really, more rather the length of the thing. Because lengthwise, it's tremendous. It's absolutely tremendous. And I don't know, I don't know how that's going to affect it, but we'll see. God, that steering angle is ridiculous. Holy crap. Dude, since the wheelbase is so long, it's almost like it doesn't matter. And it has so much power, and it's naturally aspirated power, so the response is immediate. Look at the steering angle. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous in terms of, like, the steering angle. I want to try and jump drift it. Oh, my God. It did it perfectly. It did it so perfectly. And look, it'll just keep going and going and going and going. This thing, even though it's got a lot of power, actually, this V8, honestly, like, since it's tuned to be up in the high revs all the time and it's effectively a NASCAR engine, it, it really does need to be wound out. 
I mean, look, okay. Look at this steering angle. I deliberately threw it, like, way past the point where it would be normally comfortable. Because look at that steering angle. That, I mean, you can kind of tell. I hope you can tell. Because, I mean, the lighting on this track's a little weird right now. But, like, look. That's ridiculous. That's just insane. And plus, guarantee you, it'll be able to recover. Easy. I'm kind of okay with taking this thing to the track as it is. Come on. Uh oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think I'm kind of okay with going ahead and taking it to the track. I, I, I didn't think I was going to like the setup that much, like right off the bat, but I mean, don't knock it if it works, I guess. All right, let's pick a track. Hmm. Where should we go? Where should we go? Sonoma's a fun track to drift, actually. Sonoma's a really fun track to drift. I just don't know if it would be fun for this particular car. Road Atlanta would be cool. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Road Atlanta. Prague would be fun, but it's got some sections that are really tight for this thing, especially. Hmm. Mm, I'm not sure. You know what? Let's take it to... <laughs> Let's take it to Road Atlanta. For the sheer, for the sheer hilarity of drifting a near thousand horsepower limousine around Road Atlanta, we just have to, we have to do it. Now, our first lap, I am going to take the, um, the Formula D, like, you know, horseshoe line. On the other laps, I'm going to actually care about my score and not take that. But, I mean... You, you could take that, but you just you just have to know that it's going to completely and utterly destroy your score. So as long as you're aware of that, you can take that line. Just don't take it when you're playing online. Otherwise, you'll wind up way in the back really quickly. Whew, all right. Let's go. And initiate. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. This is actually... You know what's funny? It's actually really easy. The long wheelbase... The long wheelbase makes it insanely easy to drift, actually. And, I mean, it was easy to drift before, but now with the steering angle upgrades, it's, it's like, almost impossible to spin the thing. Because when you have a wheelbase that's this long, it feels like... Ah... Drop my score. But, like, it, when you have a wheelbase this long, it effectively makes you feel like you can't spin. You know what I mean? Like, it, effectively, it makes you feel like you can't spin out. Because everything kind of happens in slow, uh, super slow motion. So, you're like, oh, yeah, I have, like, a million years to do this. You know what I mean? I have a million years to make this transition. You don't always have that much time, but sometimes you do. Ease it. Oh, God. Ease it. There we go. Guarantee you I can link the whole track with this thing. Guarantee you I can link the whole track. I'm not going to this lap because I'm going to hit the horseshoe, but still. Fifth gear. It can still... Oh, my God. It can still do it. Trying to figure out... I mean, I, I would probably, honestly, when I'm going down, like, trying to do an actual scoring lap, I'd probably just do little transitions back and forth. But, oh, Formula D section, come on. Woo! Woo! Wow, they let you go off a lot there. Holy crap. You want to talk about a drift taxi? Like, damn, this, this is about as drift taxi as you're going to get. Like, this is about the most luxurious drift taxi you're going to get, too. Oh, God, that was a lot. That was a lot of angle. Without the steering angle kit, that would have been a spin. Spin it back around right at the 300 mark. Big, smoky burnout. And I'll call that our warm-up because now we're going to hit the whole track. 
or at least go for a run at the whole track and hopefully maintain our entire combo for the whole track. Coming down 12. Oh God. Let's go. Oh geez. Oh God. Wow, you have to be so conservative there. Just because you really have to remember how long the car is. If you don't remember how long the car is, the car will remind you. I'd just rather it remind me before before I have a, an, an unpleasant surprise than like in the middle of one, you know what I mean? Just push it, push it, push it. Ah! Focus, focus, oh god, down the S's, focus. Much better setup than last time. Last time we went off. Well, technically, according to the game, we went off. Grab fourth. That, that was a really violent grab of fourth gear. Super violent. It's really easy to do these little mini transitions down the straight, and then once you get to a corner, you just let the thing slide out with inertia. And again, like I said, because the transitions happen so, like, so slowly, you can sort of plan for them at what feels like a year in advance. Come on, keep it simple. Little mini transitions, keep it simple. There we go. Dude, there we go. Holy crap. Do not go off, do not go off, do not go off. Oh my god, all right. No, why did it bank my score? I was sideways. That was weird. That doesn't make sense. Maybe it was just for that split second that I wasn't sideways. They are very aggressive with banking scores, especially in like certain sections of track where they think you should be scoring. And if you're not scoring there, it's like they will cut your combo. But I just have to be, oh crap. Okay, yeah, you know what? I wonder if I can just go back, like back through to the previous lap and like consider the third lap restarted. Just because of the fact that my combo was, like, gone so early on, you know? Alright. We'll retry from, like, the top of 12. The top of 12 at the end of lap 2. There we go. Move it. Oh, God. That might be too much. Oh, nope, nope, nope. It's good. Holy crap. I thought our score was either going to be lost or banked. Leave it. Oh, God. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Ugh, leave it alone. There it is. I'm just like... I'm going through this lap and I'm thinking to myself, what's the like, what's the number one spot that I'm gonna need to pay attention to so I don't lose this combo? One of them's right here. And it may not seem like a really tricky part of the track, but if you hit it with too much momentum, you're gone. Any straightaway also, any straightaway is gonna be a big one. I'm gonna try and carry that all the way in. Big entry worked well. There we go. Ugh. Be easy with it. Come on. Oh, when I let off the throttle there and like I heard I heard it stop counting, I was like, no. No, please. No, please. Right to the left. I'm not going to try to carry it all the way through that corner. It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to also, like, to risk that combo like that. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god. There we go. Come on. There's the whole track linked. I mean, hey, if this thing can link the entirety of Road Atlanta and not do too bad of a job at it, I mean, again, this is not a world record breaker. This is more like... This is more like something that you would do for, like, you would drive for fun. But, I mean, as something to surprise people with, it's brilliant. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that like button. Feel free to copy this setup and copy the car if you do desire. And if you would like to see more videos, click that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next one. Talk to you guys later.